peeps, welcome to another video. I know it's the middle or late August, but I'm doing my August sewing plans. Ta-da! I had meant to film this video much earlier in the month, but it has been hectic at work. And the eagle-eyed amongst you will have noticed that there is no July lookbook, and that is because I basically only got to make one thing for myself in July because I was so busy, and I am planning on doing a July and August lookbook with everything amalgamated together because I'm hoping, hoping that I'm going to be able to get myself a few more things done so that I have something to show you. I mean, I'm sewing lots, but none of it's for me. Uh, that's good though, right? It means I'm busy at work. Anyway, again, I don't actually have any of the fabrics that I'm working with in August with me because they're all at the shop and I decided that I would do all the close-ups there because bringing it all home to then take it back again, that's a lot of stuff to transport, transport back and forwards. So I will jump straight in. Now also a lot of you uh, will be following me on Instagram and you will have seen these completed already because uh, as I say it's mid-August, it's the 15th today. So yeah I've already done quite a lot of these sewing plans but I wanted to tell you just in case you didn't follow me on Instagram. Anyway enough waffling. The very first one is the Necessary Clutch Wallet and it is for the lovely Natida of Natural Dane and if you haven't seen her channel I will link her down below because because she makes some awesome stuff and I just love her personality she's so bubbly um, but anyway she wanted a necessary clutch wallet uh, in purple and variations thereof for her wedding anniversary so I used this purple uh, corduroy that I got from uh, stone fabrics and I also used half a meter of this purple pansy timeless treasures print which is a quilting cotton and it is finished and it is amazing the picture's up on instagram if you'd like to see it now but it will be included in my august May. so next up is the wedding dress and this is in the waverly Uti cotton um, which is a mid-weight cotton from fabric.com um, which is probably intended for upholstery or something but for pippa i'm making the butterick 6483 bodice with a panelled circle skirt on it we were going to gather it but that cotton's way too thick for, for gathering and this was in July's um, planned makes but I got as far as the muslin and then Pippa couldn't come in until the 31st to try it on again this one has been completed and is up on Instagram if you would like to sneak a peek but I will include um, pictures in the August lookbook because uh, she actually got married on Sunday and she sent me pictures of her wearing the dress and it looks awesome so that was amazing I I, I love making wedding dresses so it's um it's really an interesting wedding dresses as well not that white dresses aren't interesting but you know what I mean so yeah that was really fun to do so I'm also making two more dresses for Pippa one is her going away dress which is out of this African wax print and I'm going to be using the Deer and Doe Belladon bodice and I'm going to be doing a slightly fuller skirt as much as the fabric that is left will allow me uh, with the pocket detail as well and uh, that is going to be as I say her going away dress for the day after her wedding so she got married on the 13th of August that was a civil ceremony and then she's having a big party on the 3rd of September and she has a day dress for that and I'm making her an evening dress and then she's having a going away dress for the next day. So the evening dress that I'm making her is going to be a combination of a Vogue and a McCall's pattern. I cannot remember the numbers off the top of my head, but I will put them in here for you. And it's going to be out of this beautiful Liberty Tresco lawn. And um, her mum has given her this green sari um, that we're going to use as a couple of layers underneath the skirt to try and give the skirt a little bit more oomph and a flamenco kind of vibe. So that's going to be her dancing evening dress. So I'm making that one for her as well. Next up is the Michael Miller Regatta border print. And I'm making a pleated and gathered skirt for the lovely Corona. Um, actually, that is already finished and waiting for her to come and collect it. Uh, but I wanted to include it because it is going to be made in August. I really love this print. Um, I haven't worn my dress enough, but I yeah need to. But yeah, uh, it's going to be a, a really lovely skirt on her. So I'm really looking forward to her to come and collect that one. So next up, it's a dress for the lovely Susie, and it is a special birthday. So she wanted a handmade dress just for the event. It's going to be from this blue cotton. Um, poplin sateen that I got from Stone Fabrics. Um, so it has a little bit of stretch to it, it's got a nice sheen to it without being shiny um, and it's a beautiful navy colour because we had to match some shoes that Susie had. 
and it's going to be the Vogue pattern and again I can't remember the number so I will insert a photo here for you uh, but I have made this dress before and I made it for my sister-in-law's wedding dress so I know the pattern inside and out um, so yes Susie is going to be having that by the end of this month and the very final customer commission is for a lovely lady called Emma now I actually met Emma last year she paid for a dress I got as far as the muslin stage and she found out she was pregnant so um, she decided to hold off because she actually lives on the mainland and she comes to the island on holiday and she decided to hold off and she's coming back this year she's coming back on the 19th for a week and um, um, the obviously the baby is now born and I'm going to hopefully hopefully she kind of fits into the muslin that's already made but I'm going to tweak the muslin and make her a dress over that week so that she can take it home with her at the end of that week and it's going to be out of the timeless treasures cherry tree I mean it's not called cherry tree it's called nature but the timeless treasures nature cherry tree print which I love uh, and it's going to be a lacala pattern a 4131 with a gathered skirt on it and that's it for commissions now I have a list of about four selfish sewing projects that I would like to do but given how busy I am given that it's the 15th of August I don't know if I'm going to get very much for me done and I only got one thing done from last month and I would like to get some of those tops done as well so I think I'm only going to tell you about two of them because that way I've got a hope of getting them done <laughs> The first one is the Vogue V8577 dress. I want to make another one. I um, was on a fabric buying ban and then so over it released this beautiful cotton lawn uh, with tropical leaves and hummingbirds all over it, which was basically perfect. And I um denied because fabric buying ban and they sold out and it was like ah well that makes my decision for me um stupidly i told you guys about it on my vlog and you guys pointed me in the direction of fabric godmother who had some more and i bought it um now as you know this is a fabric hungry dress so i've got five meters of it um but yeah i love my sake snake corsage one so i was thinking that a lighter toned one would be perfect and i just absolutely love that print so much so yeah that's what i'm going to be doing in that print and then finally, the lovely, lovely people at Girl Charlie sent me um, some of their bolt range and it's the Homestead one. And it's the gray one with the little houses on it because I was just like, oh my God, that needs to be pajamas. And I wear my Magnolia pink pajamas all the time and I would like another pair. So I'm gonna use the Girl Charlie fabric to make myself another uh, Renfrew t-shirt and a pair of Simplicity um, pajama bottoms. I'm thinking with these ones I might actually add elastic around the cuffs on the ankles as well as the waist because mine are very long and very kind of draggy on the floory. Draggy on the floory? That's English right? So yeah I, that's what I'm going to do as well. So yeah that is that is everything that I'm planning for August and have been doing and for the rest of the month. Wish me luck! <laughs> I really hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have please give it a thumbs up if you haven't yet, please subscribe and I'll see you again very soon. Bye!